Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein, and this is some initial thoughts on the game The Wolves from Pandasaurus Games. And again, just in the interest of full disclosure, we got a review copy of this from Amazon Vine. And long story short, our initial thoughts are this game was uh, a very pleasant surprise. It was not what I thought it would be, and that's a good thing. Initially, it looked very Cascadia-ish. And in the region's tiles, you know, the board, yes, it seems like it looks a little bit like Cascadia, but it doesn't play like Cascadia at all, in my opinion. I was very pleasantly surprised. I was also very pleasantly surprised as to how good the rule book was. So you always got to be thankful to get a good rule book. You got a nice player aid as well. The game was easier to learn than I thought it would be. And then if you had any other questions, you could just go to the rule book, which did a good job. I thought the two-player variant was good because it threw in a little bit of an AI. Basically, just takes up some space to make things a little more of a, you know, pain in the neck to get things done. But it was good in a, it was done in a good way to make it uh, more two-player friendly, as we mostly play two-player games here, the Shogunstein household. And I liked this unique mechanism of using the terrain tiles, or, you know, the different biomes. And again, your wolf. In my case, I started as the forest wolf. Little Shogunstein in this game was the rocky wolf. That you get a tile that's two-sided for your uh, biome that matches your wolf. But then you have to deal with the other five. You have to deal with the other biomes. So you have uh, five, you know, one of each. And then your one that matches your wolf. And these uh, tiles that rep represent the uh, biomes... This is going to determine what moves you can do. So, are you going to move? Are you going to build a den? Are you going to so you're going to build a den? Are you going to upgrade the den to a lair? Are you going to howl and go after those lone wolves? Are you going to dominate and look for those uh, pack wolves that are by themselves, not with the alpha? And that's going to depend on how many of the same biome that you got showing. So, in this case, you know I have two forests, which again. It's going to give you the advantage when you pick which wolf you're going to play as. But these things flip. So to move, you got to have one biome matching where you want to move to. If you're going to build a den, if you're going to upgrade to a lair, you have to have two. If you are going to dominate and again go for that lone wolf or maybe that lone den, you got to have three. Now you'll see here on the tile... It shows you what it's going to flip to. So again, you got to kind of pro, you got to think ahead to know. Okay, if I use this, it's going to flip over to forest, which gives me a better chance to dominate. So it's very thinky. Again, it doesn't uh, with the theme of the wolves, and you might look at it on the back of the box and think it's a cute game about wolves, but it's not. And that way, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, of of Honey Buzz, because Honey Buzz looked like a game about cute bees. But it was a lot more thinky. And the same thing with this. It might look like a game about wolves with cute little wolf, wolves meeples. But the game is a lot thinkier as you have to, again, go through those choices. Are you going to try to get some more wolves on the board? Are you going to try to get those lairs? Are you going to try to dominate? And then you're going to have to think about the actions and how you're going to get those either one, two, or three um, matching tiles. And then you also got to think about which uh, things you want to improve on because your moves, depending on your uh, the layers you take off or the wolves you take off, are going to improve um, how many wolves you can move, how far you can move them, your howl range, and the prey. If you go hunting, that's going to get you know end game scoring. So there's a lot of things to think about on your turn. So on your turn, you get you know two actions, which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you got to try to get the tiles in the right spot and again think about do I want to, you know, which region do I want to try to control? And there's a nice little mechanism where you can see what's going to score next, or maybe you can think about, you know, one or two moon cycles ahead. And the game runs in terms of those moon cycles depending on the player count. And again, just a lot to think about. Are you going to get these? tiles the right way you want them to make you move, which things you want to improve on, which endgame scoring do you want, 
you know, when do you want to end the, the cycle? Which uh, round, basically, when is the round going to end? Because, again, you kind of control that because if you, you're upgrading into lairs or you're getting these lone wolves, you're getting closer to the end of the round than the, the scoring. So you got to be care, beware of that, too. So what I like about this game, and, again, these are some initial thoughts, not a full review, is everything's very clear. It's very clear what you have to do, which I like. But at the same time, it's not easy to make that decision about what you want to do. So check out the Wolves Pandasaurus Games. Initial Torts, Shogun Steen out.